The actions without the faith would not have saved or justified Rahab. And there's an important warning here, church. Hebrews 11.6 tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. That means that someone can do all the appropriate outward behaviors. Somebody can be very busy with religious activity, and yet if they don't have a personal faith in the living God, he will not be pleased with them. You can, you can do all the right things outwardly, but if it's not motivated from a personal dependence on God and a personal believing commitment to him, he will not be pleased. Because Hebrews 11 says it is, it doesn't say that it's difficult to please God without faith. It says that it is impossible for us to please God without faith. What Rahab did flowed out of what she believed. Here's the relationship between the faith and, and her works. This is what James and Hebrews are combining to tell us. What she did, her works and her actions flowed out of what she believed in her heart. And, and I want you to understand this. The saving faith came first. The saving faith came first. Before she did anything to help these spies, she believed. You see that? But before she actually did this thing, there was faith in her heart. And it's what we believe that characterizes our relationship with God, isn't it? Now, notice in chapter 2, the spies don't go to her house to proselytize her, do they? They don't go and say, Mrs. Rahab the harlot, please repent and, and, and believe in the God of Israel and be nice to us and save us and we'll do something good for you. They don't go and find a woman who's ready to sell them out, do they? When they get there, they find a woman whose heart has already been touched by the Lord. She's already settled in her heart that she's going to side with Jehovah. That's how she is when they find her. So before she does anything for them, something's happened in her heart. Now, we don't get her backstory, so I don't know when it happened. Maybe it was a couple days before. Maybe it was that very day that God reached in and changed this woman's heart. Maybe it was that very moment when the spies walked in the door and the spirit broke in and softened her and drew her. It doesn't say when this happened, but I'm convinced that the only way she responded like she did is because God first caused her to believe. I think there had to be faith first. Faith first. 